Hello everybody, welcome to Alex Angel channel. My name is Alex. I made a hiatus from posting on YouTube, but now I'm back with a new video. I plan to change my style on videos and please let me know if you appreciate this kind of content, this kind of perspective which I offer you. This video is about spirits slash deities and offerings and I was inspired to make this video by that darling's video about ceremonial magical tips and at last in the video she talked about offerings in the context of spirits slash deities. And I'm going to share my take with you when it comes about spirits slash deities and offerings. Bear with me. So, when it comes about working with spirits and deities, and you ask them to do something for you, what it happens is that you become more like them. You become their avatar. You become the vessel which contains their essence and can interact with the material world since they are immaterial. And in this way, they can manifest and act on the material world, especially when it comes about offerings. The offering or the offering act in itself is an anchor for the entity, for the essence of the entity to manifest on this plane, to become more real. The offering act in itself is the way through which they can influence on the material world. The descent of spirit into matter. In thermodynamics, we have the principle of entropy. Much more like in the Lovecraftian mythos where Nyarlathotep infiltrates everywhere, even in the government, and takes control of everything and his influences on everything, on the material world.